folks, this is Jocelyn. I'm a naturalist at the Tillamook Forest Center, operated by the Oregon Department of Forestry. We're located down the Highway 6 corridor in the heart of the Tillamook State Forest. We are dedicated to sharing the history and stories of our forest with all of our visitors, including stories of our natural wildlife, like this banana slug. How many of you are disgusted by slugs? I'm sure you're not alone in that thought. They are covered in slime. But what if I told you that banana slugs have just as many teeth as a shark does, that they are master recyclers, and in fact, they're the only native slug to organ? Yes, on the surface, they may seem pretty gross and slimy, but they are very hard at work keeping our forest clean. Banana slugs are like the garbage collectors and recyclers of our forest. If you hope to spot one of these forest recyclers, you're going to need to know what to look for. Banana slugs can be found in their signature yellow color, but they can also be found in shades of brown or even tan. They might even have black spots on them, like an old banana. You're going to also look for one of the largest slugs because banana slugs can be up to 10 inches long, which is the second largest slug in the world. They can even weigh a quarter pound. That is a huge slug. You can also follow slime trails to help you find a slug. All slugs, including our banana slug, create slime to help them get around. One is a more free-flowing slime that's very slippery, help them move over tough surfaces real easily. The other kind of slime is more thick and helps them stay in place, especially if they're moving up vertical surfaces. They might even use this slime to help them uh, get away from predators. Maybe a snake or a hungry shrew or even our dogs want to eat one of these muscly morsels. But they secrete some slime, gum up the mouths of the predators, maybe even make their predator gag and spit it on out. Raccoons have been known to roll their slugs in soil before they eat their before they eat it. Get around that sticky slime situation. Their slime also protects their body from drying out so they don't turn into a banana chip. You know, the chances are that if you do spot one of these in the forest, it'll be there for a while because they do not move very fast at all. In fact, they only move about 6.5 inches per minute. Whoa, that's very slow. You challenge this slug to a 100 meter dash, you're going to be there for about 9 hours and 15 minutes. Do you think you'll win? How would you pack a banana slug's lunch? First, did you know that a banana slug has more teeth than a shark? Slugs have a tongue that is called a radula. Now this structure has thousands of tiny, sharp little teeth facing backwards. Even though they have so many teeth, they don't use them in the same way that you or I do. Instead of chomping up and down, they more rasp over the surface of the food they want to eat shaving off food. So if you had teeth that was more like a nail file, what would you eat? Probably things that are soft, right? Things that are decaying, maybe easily to shred. Yeah, slugs are the forest recyclers. They renew the forest through consuming dead plants, living vegetation. They may even eat rotting wood, lichen, fungi, dead animals, animal poop. They eat a variety of things, keeping our forest clean. So where do these recyclers live? Banana slugs are native to moist forest floors of the Pacific Northwest. They can be found from California all the way up to Alaska, and they love our rainy Tillamook State Forest. Having the correct habitat is important for banana slugs, and this is why the Oregon Department of Forestry works hard to provide a variety of habitat through the requirements in the Forest Practices Act. We leave down dead trees, standing dead trees, ground cover, and plenty of live trees to protect river sides in our timber harvests so that critters, even down to our slugs, have a place to live. Often folks find slugs in their gardens at home too. They might not be our banana slugs, but they are a variety of slug. And that can be pretty annoying, maybe even pretty destructive and pesky when you're trying to grow your own vegetables but there are ways to prevent this. Consider building some barriers that prevent slugs from entering your garden. 
maybe do a little research on what plants are around that could detour your muscly invaders. Maybe do some research on finding out what are some natural predators you can lure into your garden to keep those populations low. Avoid pouring salt on them. It dehydrates them and is a pretty cruel way of removal. Instead, consider collecting them and relocating them to a local natural area so they can continue to do their recycling job in that area. Banana slugs are the Pacific Northwest native recyclers, helping to renew the forest by providing nutrients for plants. We can all take a tip from these critters by helping to create healthier habitats, by keeping the forest clean, free of litter and debris, and by managing it in a way that is sustainable. The Oregon Department of Forestry does this through following the Forest Practices Act. We leave down dead trees, standing dead trees, ground cover, and plenty of trees to protect those riversides. So the next time you're in the forest, look down and keep on the lookout for our forest recyclers.